All right, Matt, we've had a little time to reboot with six days off between games. Um, you know, how have workouts been since the win over Utah? Um, how have you been able to get everyone to refocus um, after such a big, big win for you personally and then kind of a big win for, for the team as well? Yeah, we just kind of stay true to who we are and talk about don't let our highs get too high or our lows get too low. And just we had the opportunity to take the weekend to focus on us again. And we probably had one of our better practices on Sunday, just the competition and how hard the kids fought the entire two-hour practice. So I was proud of them for that. But we're just trying to take it one day at a time and not look ahead, just focus when we have time on us and then when we're game planning, making sure we're all locked in to what it is we want to do to be successful. Um, you've had a few days to look at the Utah film. Um, you know, what have you like from your team to just breaking down the film um, and what are some things you think we need to improve on? Yeah, I was proud of them. I, I feel like they played so hard um, from the tip to the very end. So I was proud of them. Everybody that came in contributed to that successful win, but also just how down the stretch in the fourth quarter, how we made plays. And from Aliyah to Ari, just to everybody stepping up when they needed to, and we, we got the win. So Temple's already played three games this year. Um, they're off to a two and one start. Um, they have three players uh, scoring in double figures, led by Mia Davis, who's averaging nearly 25 and 10 uh, per game so far. Um, and she's on some preseason watch lists, I think the Cheryl Miller Award. Um, can you maybe talk about what you need to do to get a win over Temple and maybe how we um, stop her? Yeah, our non-conference schedule is uh, preparing us for our Big East conference no question and you look at a team like Utah and they remind us of some teams in our league now with Temple they look like some teams in our league and how they play and they are a great team you know they had a tough loss on the road against St. Joe's but they had opportunities to close that game and win it and so we know we got to come in ready to go they're a team that is led by three um double-digit scores, and they can get a bucket anytime they want. So our kids need to lock into defending them, but also making sure that we're doing what we need to do to win the game. And we need to also use the same toughness that we closed out the Utah game and bring that on the road. But we know it's going to be a dogfight. Temple is going to bring it. You know, after that loss, they're going to want to get back on that winning track. So we know we got, a, we got our work cut out for us. Can you talk about our post depth a little bit? Um... We either have had kids injured or redshirted over the last couple of years, and we just haven't had a ton of depth there. But um, after the Utah game, Yanni had some good minutes. Courtney Pranger in her first game, solid time off the bench. Obviously, Ariana Gray, Deja can play a little forward and guard. Just um, as a coach, what does that mean for you to have some depth in that position? Because not a lot of teams have a ton of depth at the forward position. It's huge, um, and that exactly what you said. We have, and they all have a skill set that's different than the next one, and that's what's unique about that group. And they really have bought in as the the four, the five of them, of like we're going to be the best post, you know, in the Big East. And they've kind of play with a little pride and a little chip on their shoulder, which I appreciate. So it's it's cool, and it's nice to see one day. It, as I tell them, on any given day, anybody on this team, team can step up, and they've proven that every day in practice for by what they bring from their hustle, their rebounds, their screening, their scoring. But I'm excited in, in the – the opportunity to put a Yanni in who maybe gets in foul trouble, then you put Courtney in who's a freshman but didn't play like a freshman against Utah, and then you have height with Sarah and her skill set, her ability to shoot the three and face up, and then Ari's Ari, she's a double-double machine, and then Deja, someone that's versatile, can face up and kind of bring a guard presence to that four position. So I'm ecstatic. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity for them every single night to show what they can do.